You're like, what integrity is lost by saying racist don't belong in libertarianism? You, if I asked you to sign a, a pledge to, to just make it clear that you're not a child pedophile or, or that you're you're not, a, you know, like some terrible. I'm what, not a pedophile. Like? I just said it. Right. You, you want me to it. sign that on a paper? I'm not a pedophile. I'll do that, too. It costs you me nothing. You don't find that like pretty weak? Nope. If you asked me to sign that, I would go, get that out of my face. I'm not doing something because you tell me to. I'm not your trained dog. You're not. Okay. So you don't have to do face. anything. Right. But what you are not immune from is criticism for refusing to do something that everybody else seems really able to do, and you can't do well, it. Well, I'm not arguing so that, that anybody... Something. No one's arguing no one's not... A, no, it doesn't. It means nothing. It's, okay. It, no one's arguing you're not able That's to sign the piece opinion. of paper. Right. And listen, again, Nick, I don't know why it's a counter to anything I'm saying to say that's my opinion. Every, again, once again, everything that I say can be for it's under the umbrella of this is what I think. Right. This is my opinion. Um, then what you just said is your opinion. Uh, anyway, so, right. I don't know why anybody would think that the idea it's just such pathetic virtue signaling to be like, we're all going to sign this letter that says we're against fascism. Something that's really not fascism, I, racism. Oh, OK. So something right. So racism. Okay. White nationalists are not welcome in libertarianism. That's what it said. Right. Okay. You well, can't say that? What? Uh, you don't think they're redeemable? Only war hawks? I think white they're, they're not allowed in. So you're telling me if you if there's a white nationalist, if there's somebody who's a racist, which mm -hmm. I mean, I assume by that meaning they don't like other groups of, of they don't like other racial groups or something like that. Mm -hmm. You don't want to bring them into a philosophy I that don't. believes in peace? Nope. They're not redeemable. Only the war hawks are. When they abandon their racism, they're redeemable. Oh, okay. And what's and what's the standard for that? I don't know. Like, what do you mean? What's the standard for that? Well, you, Bill Weld, you seem to let off the hook pretty quickly for you know advocating mass murder. He never advocated mass murder. <laughs> of course he did. When did he advocate? He mass openly murder? supported the war in Iraq. As did everybody, including pretty much everybody other than Ron Paul. Ron Paul, Bernie Sanders. I had Sanders, to double Dennis, check because it was Paul, Iraq and not uh, Afghanistan. Ron Paul, Dennis Kucinich, Bernie Sanders. No, you had to double check because you're wrong about it. Ron Paul did not support the war. Bernie Sanders right. didn't support the war. Dennis Kucinich didn't so support got three. the war. Ralph Nader didn't support the war. Everybody Four good. Yeah, everybody good. Ralph Nader wasn't a member of Congress. Okay, um, so three I, out of 535. Yeah, I don't know. I Actually, the votes, there were, there were more people than that who didn't vote for the war, but whatever. I mean, Call it 20, whatever. Uh, oh, okay, so what? So you make an excuse for that. So, so the war, it's like, oh, he didn't, yeah, he advocated for mass murder, but a lot of people were advocating for mass murder at the he time. Didn't but advocate racism, for mass murder. Racism is the real problem, you say. It is after somebody murders somebody in Charlottesville. Yeah, <laughs> that's a problem. I know, more people, did you know more people died in Charlottesville than in Iraq? I didn't know that. Yeah. Because it's not true. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yes, yeah, like one person died in that crazy scene at Charlottesville. It's terrible. Nobody supported them. Tom Woods didn't support them. Why do they have to say? I didn't well, say Tom Woods did support them. Right, but he wouldn't sign a pledge that you not a pledge, an open letter that says you guys aren't welcome. Uh, okay. He won't say that. Yeah. Will you say it? No. Okay. What What are you there asking are. me to say? White nationalists are not welcome in the libertarian movement. Uh, listen. I think there have there has to some degree, you could argue, Ben, if you want to call it a pipeline from libertarianism to the alt-right, I think there's also been a pipeline from libertarianism to like some left libertarian quasi-socialist thing. There was a pipeline from libertarianism to Bernie Sanders supporters. There was a pipeline from libertarianism to uh, what you might call political apathy, just not voting for mm -hmm. anybody. There's really been, in radical movements, you have pipelines that go all over the place. Okay. And if I could bring any of them back to libertarianism, I would love to do that. Love to do that. I do believe they're redeemable. Much like I said, Bill Weld is redeemable. He's just got to do a little bit more. And these people who never actually murdered anybody, never actually were violent toward anyone or advocated violence, but just said some nasty things, absolutely I'd like them to come back. Why not? I don't. Why, why is racism- I don't want them. Right, so race- so You do. Is, I don't. That's where no, we you are. Just, you just want the war hawks. You don't, you don't want the racists. You just no, want I don't the want, war hawks. I don't want- Support? You can get no. I get it, You're, Mr. Libertarian Chairman. You can get past supporting a war, but you can't get past saying something mean about another race. Not saying something mean. The problem with racism, the problem with racism within a political party, is not who is in; it's who refuses to come in. This is how Donald Trump has destroyed the Republican Party. There are people who used to be okay with sometimes voting Republican or considering voting Republican. That that has changed them. And the Republican Party has been sowing these seeds for a long time. Like, Has the, the Democratic Party been sowing seeds of racism? Or, or is it like some left wing like racism is no, power plus No, but I will privilege. tell you. How about the anti-white racism of the, the Democrats? The Medicare for all stuff that has become doc doctrine right now and the gun control stuff. 
it disqualifies the Democratic Party for a lot of independent voters who like to have guns. Right. Okay. But, right? Uh, but you're, you're trans- this is what I'm asking. Beliefs. I'm asking about racism. Okay. Okay. Racism. Have you ever heard what Joe Biden said about white people? Have you heard what some of the Democrats have said about white people? Do you, do you feel the same about anti-white racism? What's anti-white racism? What does that mean? Tell me what you mean by that. Tell me, what is the statement you're asking me to comment on? So, so you have like a left-wing perspective. What like is racism the statement is, so racism you want is me power to plus on. privilege or something like what that? What is the statement you want me to comment on? I'm saying if saying, if you're, whatever you mean by racism, saying bad things, disliking other groups of people, do you see any anti-white racism coming out of the left? Have you seen any of what that? What is anti, tell me what you are asking me to comment on. I, I, racism I'm, is a pretty broad term. The same thing you mean, but directed at white people. Give me an example. Um, I mean, if you want to pull up quotes from Joe Biden, he's basically said that it's um, the. What has he said? Uh, here, Brian, can you pull up uh, Joe Biden, uh, white people, um, uh, white common law, and see if you can pull up this uh, this quote that we got from Joe Biden. Just so this I'm not be like butchering the YouTube the thing. It's never going to happen. Yeah, well, usually we're a little bit quicker <laughs> on it. Here, pull it up so I can see. Yeah, that one right that that one right there that you're on. Oh, it's long. Uh, you know what? Okay, fine. Forget it. Forget no, it. No, but Let's what just did close he say? It. Oh, he said that something about like um how it's the history of the white man's uh, tradition is always like how how evil it's been and how white people bear this responsibility. I don't have the exact quote. Do you not know what I'm talking about? The kind of anti white prejudice I, that comes out of the left? I you're do unaware not of this? know what you're talking about. Okay. Okay, and that's enough. why I keep asking you to give me the quote to comment on because I don't want to answer a question about what I may think in my head. I want to answer a question based on the example you give me. So right? I give you the example of Charlottesville. I give you the example of the open letter. I'm using specific what, what, what do you mean by things. racism? When you say you don't want racists, what do you mean by racists? I mean, the, the Libertarian Party platform is very clear. We reject racism. We reject what do you mean by racism? As irrational and repugnant. Well, bigotry is irrational by its nature, but what do you mean by racism? What I mean by racism? Thinking that people of another race are less than human. They that they have less some than human. They have some lower level so that they're not of rights or privileges or humanity. Like I believe in the stuff in the Declaration of Independence. All men are created equal with the same rights, right? Wait, what what is this quote? That's the Joe Biden common In the law. 1900s, many women were dying at the hands of their husbands because they were chattel, like the cattle or the sheep, that the court of common law decided they had to do something about the extent of the debts. No man has a right to chastise his woman with a rod. I don't know what that is. This is, is English jurisprudence culture, a white it's man's got culture. To change. It's got to change. It's got to change. Right, so he but blames they're talking white about... But that's so, okay, talking oh, about okay, hold on. Right, right. So let's say they go... Um, uh, let's say somebody said... Um, they go, you know, did you know... That 150 years ago in Africa, what they used to do to women, this horrible thing, that's the black man's culture. That's black culture. And it's got to change. You wouldn't hear that as a racist statement? Holy I, shit, Nick. You're I'm so trying, full of I'm it. trying to you're figure so out what you're saying. You wouldn't think, you're trying to figure out, change white to black. And you're telling me you wouldn't think that's a racist statement? To go, that's black culture. What they did 150 years ago, that's black culture culture i think it's yeah, got ascribing change. a culture to a race is right racist, so that's racist right like okay so yeah. that was racist yeah you, okay fair enough so that's judging what I'm talking people about. not as to, individuals to, to actually see, the, here's the problem I, the problem is you have to be an individual we reject this idea of collectivism that's the libertarian thing it's an individualist philosophy mm. and so when you say all people of x race are x or y like they they are not as smart they are not able to hold these jobs. They, they're they not smart enough to do these things. They have a culture that screws with everything, whatever. When you're making a judgment of people based on the amount of melanin in their skin- Then you're not a libertarian. It's not a libertarian position. Right. I didn't say you're not a libertarian. So they're still you could still be a libertarian and be racist. Theoretically, yeah. Okay. I mean, theoretically, anybody who doesn't but you want don't to want use that the government to restrict other people's rights- at some level, that's philosophically libertarian. Right. The Libertarian Party wants nothing to do with those people. Right. Nothing. Okay. Absolutely none. So racism they're out. Is, a, is, is you're out. Because but, they're but too supporting toxic a war, to recruiting anyone else. But supporting a war is okay. If, that you're you not hold out. A, if you hold a view that's held by the majority of society, 
then it's okay. You being Ooh. in the party is unlikely to keep anyone else right, from joining. Right, right. Okay, so it's not it's not about principle. It's at about all. politics. It's right, a right, political right. party. Right, Dave. but it's not. I'm saying, but there's no principle. Involved. There is a it's principle. Just, the no, principle is individualism. Other, no, because here's the problem. It right? is not a well, libertarian not. stance no, to you judge just said, people it's as not. a race. It's about politics. Here's the thing. If you're going to say it's about politics, it's like okay, and it's about winning, and it's about getting votes and getting more people. This is politics, right? It's about getting votes. Well, here's it's the about thing. not driving. Here's people the problem. Away. Right, right. So getting more votes, not driving people away. Who wants to be a party with racists? Well, let me just say what I'm saying. Right, exactly. So it's about getting more votes, not driving people away. This is politics, okay? Okay. Right. Well, there are these two parties that kick your ass every goddamn time. Sure. So why wouldn't I just go be one of them? Go ahead. If it's not about principle, why would anyone go with you? Because that is about principle. We have a oh, platform now it that's is. principle. I thought it was politics. You just told me it was politics. Okay, so here's the principle. You're saying racist. You're, you're a libertarian. You could be a libertarian, theoretically, but we don't want you in there. Statist, come on in. Not a problem. What is a statist? What do you mean by statist? Uh, well, the example I was using before, I mean, technically, there's lots of statists out there, but the example I was using before would be, you know, like people supporting wars. People supporting wars, okay. Right. Like any war? Afghanistan? Like immoral wars. Okay. So you have an argument about what's moral. Right. Yeah, that's the whole But all war business. is immoral? Like, are we talking Quaker level of no war? Or are we talking no, I, I no would, offensive no, wars? No, I, I would just subscribe to a theory? just war theory. Okay. Yeah. So the problem with just war theory generally is lots of people can make lots of good arguments why lots of wars are just, right? Like to give you an example, give you just like a help here. Joseph Coney used to be a big deal. I, I don't actually even know what happened to him. Like mm -hmm. that kind of fell off the map like other things do. There were a lot of people that said it would be a just war for the United States to go and intervene because this guy is raping and murdering and killing people. Is that a just war or not? R well, no, I don't think so for lots but of different But you understand reasons, that there's an argument. Sure, yes, there, there's an argument to be and made, right? And if you think that Iraq has weapons of mass destruction, if you think that, probably because some people either lied or shifted, spun the evidence, Gulf of Tonkin style, but if you believe that as a premise, is that a just war? No, I would say no. But I, I agree with you on that. Okay, right. But a lot of the country doesn't. A lot of the country thinks See, we're the only the ones that are allowed yeah, to have Nick, WMDs. Just, look, man, you're just, it's like you're doing all of the, these mental gymnastics to dodge the point. You will make a million excuses for somebody who supported a war, what you're doing right now. But you just, but if they're racist... Then whatever that means, whatever you deem to be racist. Of course, you don't I've have any of this anger. just said what it means. You well, don't have to pretend have... you can understand words. No, well, it's a very broad term. You just pretended you didn't understand it when I was talking about the anti-white racism of the left. Right. Um, when so you anyway, judge people by the color of their skin, we don't judge as the a group. People, we're that's not racism. Out, we're not calling out the the anti-white hatred on the left, which is prevalent. I mean, you're saying if you, don't you know, judge you seen all it. white people as white people, as like white people have a problem, or white people are bad, or white people are this, or white people are that. That is racist. You want them out of the Libertarian Party. If you're going to just say, like, all whites Anyone are Anyone who talks about white privilege, get out of white the Libertarian Party. White privilege is a different thing. Ooh, okay. White privilege isn't racism. Mm, no. White privilege is recognizing that if you or I walk down the street smoking weed in New York, we're less likely to get hassled by the cops than a black guy. Is that really That's true? white privilege. Okay. And how do you know that that's true? How do I know, personally? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let me tell you a story. When oh, I an anecdote is how you know? Yeah. Oh, okay. My lived experience. I'm sharing it with you. <laughs> okay. I lived in Colorado and I played in a lawyer's football league, two hand mm -hmm. touch, right? On Sundays. And I was late one day. So I'm driving down the road. I'm going fast. Cop pulls out down in a south suburb of, Co of Denver. I have a handgun loaded in my glove compartment. Cop comes up license and registration. I give him that. I'm like, you know, officer, I have a handgun in my glove compartment. He said, we'll take it out. I take it out. I set it on my seat next to me. It is racked and loaded. The cop takes my stuff, goes back to his car, comes back to me, says, you know, you should slow down. I see that you live in the neighborhood. You know, have a good day. Don't drive so fast. Here's a business card if you want to call the cop shop about our interaction with my name and stuff, mm -hmm. right? And then I leave. You have to remember, I spent five years as a public defender and I had a lot of African-American clients and that is not how their interaction goes. That's never they happened. They either get shot or proned out on the ground and some of it has to do with different so do police more, departments. Do more black people get shot than white people by police? Relatively. 
more mm. on a on a per capita basis, right? Like, right. But about twice as many white people get shot by the cops. There are a lot more white people in the country. I don't, yeah, sure. That's how numbers work. But well, not necessarily if there's this white privilege. So there doesn't are, seem to be protecting them. There are things where it is easier for all things being equal. It is easier to go through life as a white person in this country than a black person in this country. Hmm. Now, maybe again, you have to be individualist, right? Like, so doesn't seem like you're you being may very have, individualist. You may have a different. Seems a little racist. You might have to get out of the party. I don't think I do. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, the idea of white privilege is not a. It is related to racism because it goes back to a background level of racial bias in society where white people are nicer to other white people. It goes back to basic tribalism, right? Do you think black people have like um like a, a tendency to be nice to other black people? Like do they maybe refer to themselves as like their brothers and sisters? Tribalism is tribalism, and, you know, right? Like, like literally identity. refer to themselves like brother and sister is a term that they use for other black people. Right. Right. Okay. As do religious communities. Right. Like if you're uh, sure. in a church, they refer to you as brother. Sure. Right? Because it's the idea of, of extending a family. Nothing. Tribes are like bigger families, right? So is that's a form of collectivism, I it guess, It is right? a form of collectivism. Yeah. And Does it's that a pretty a natural human instinct. Yeah. Would you want like it, a black, a black person who referred to... libertarian. Libertarianism... But you just said you want to sign a, a pledge against collectivism. No, so like I said I wanted... I, I said that I, along with many other libertarians, signed an open letter saying racists are not welcome within the libertarian movement, full stop. The people in Charlottesville that are chanting the little Tiki Torch Brigade, a huge, you know, Jews did you think will that not was replace a big us, blood and soil. you think that was a big threat to the country? Like bigger than the warfare state, bigger than like, say, like socialists on the left? I mean, how about the people who the are like- The warfare state doesn't you threaten have, the so you inside of our country, Dave. That's the thing. The warfare state doesn't threaten the inside, the of, our inside country. of our country. Really? You yeah. don't think so? You when don't think we the bomb another country, Ooh, it doesn't bomb the Baltimore. The warfare state does not right? affect Whereas the inside. Whereas the criminal justice state Wait a second. locks people up Wait in our one country. Wait a second. Are you out of your mind? Where do you think they got all those fancy military gears at the police stations that are they're using for that? They buy them off the DHS. They buy them off right, the Defense Department. Right, but that's after they've already used yeah, it to bomb other people. Yeah, the warfare state. Sure, but the warfare state doesn't affect the domestic population. Dude, you got it. War is the health of the state I'm for of that. Okay, don't tell me that. But the don't George tell w. me Bush. that that foreign policy is more important than criminal justice reform because that's it, not true. It is. It um, is not. It absolutely is. Criminal uh, justice reforms way more important to Americans because Americans. Well, to are Americans, the ones, so you just added a new term in there. Hold on, let me finish what where I'm do saying we run before our you disagree with it. In America, yes, that's right. And where do we do our genocide in the Middle East? Okay, so uh, anyway, let me finish the Only point when that we're I'm not making. bombing Philadelphia. Right. Um, anyway, well, by the way, if someone did bomb Philadelphia or supported bombing like Philadelphia. They did? The move bombers? Right, right, right. And if someone supported that, and they were all about it. Let's say they didn't do that. Let's say they killed 100,000 people in Philadelphia. You think it'd be okay if uh, someone who supported that was the LP nominee? Probably not. A couple not. years later? Probably not. I'm not so it's only fan. when it's in Iraq. Then it's okay. All right. Um, so it seems like, uh, I don't know, first world privilege to me. Thanks for watching, guys. Just want to tell you real quick about Monday.com. It's a great management tool for any business of any size. Go to Monday.com slash problem. You get a two-week free trial. Check out that awesome service. Thanks again.